Welcome back to Planting Life Matters. Today, I'd like to share with you why I built a pea gravel patio. This was my backyard in 2017 with lots of crabgrass. And in 2018, it just got even worse. There was crabgrass out of control. So it was time to do something about it. But let me share with you why I really got started. <laughs> Are you okay, Jim? <laughs> Seriously, are you okay? <sighs> Did the chair leg go in the ground or is it broken? Yeah. Not that I'm worried about the chair. <laughs> the fact that you got on the deck on the phone, I can't move. <laughs> Hold on. Man, you may have to go get your brother. Be careful, the chair may be able to be salvaged. Oh no, it's done, it's a wrap. Try this one. <laughs> Mama, you wrong. <laughs> Try this one. I don't want to sit in either one of them. You know it just rained in the ground. Oh my oh, goodness. Wow. You guys, I laughed so hard inside. I had to make sure she wasn't hurt first. My daughter was okay. But I knew that I needed to make a change because whenever it would rain, the ground would sink if you sat in a chair. So I got some spray paint and I spray painted the area a line around where I knew I wanted the patio to uh, be. And it was it ended up being about 20 feet by 15 feet in a curved area. So at that point, I knew the next step was now to remove the grass, but I wanted to leave enough grass in an area where the grandkids could play and also where my dogs could play whenever they're out and maybe make a little flower bed over off to the left. I'm gonna show in another video how I create flower beds around the patio as well. But it was, it was challenging getting the grass out. But once we did, I was able to then put down some sand that we brought in and we did about two um, inches of sand. I brought four yards of sand in. And then I put the fabric down on top of the sand. And after putting the landscape fabric down is when we brought in the pea gravel. And once we got the pea gravel on top of that, it all worked out really great. So we just started to set our tables up and uh, make some pathways with arches where I plan to grow flowers later on those arches and uh, we were able to get all this done really in about a day, if that long, and that's what taking breaks. So it wasn't that difficult. It was just the most hard part was getting the grass out, I will say that. And uh, so once we got that done, we had a patio, that was it. I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the kids love it. And uh, I do wanna show the edging, how I keep the grass and the gravel separate. And that was just by using the metal um, edging. And uh, sometimes you still get some rocks that come over a little bit, but no big deal. You just scoop them back up. We're able to edge with a weed whacker around there. You can see I need to cut my grass there now, but otherwise it, it's turned out pretty decent, I think. It serves the purpose, no one sinking again. So let's fast forward two years later and see how this pea gravel patio is holding up. So everything actually has held up quite well. I do get an occasional weed to come through. And this is funny because this is not a weed. This actually is, look at that. Let's pull that up. This is part of a Venka flower that uh, reseeded by itself. So uh, this broke off from a tree I just picked up from the nursery. But just looking around at the gravel, everything has held up. The only thing I don't like about it is that I put way too much sand down, like I said, and uh, it, it makes it really mushy. Like, I don't know if that's the right word. I'm not sinking or anything when I walk on it. 
it's just a little thicker than I would like for it to be. But if I pull this back, and you can see where the landscape fabric is, and it's hard as a rock um, underneath there, and the sand is underneath that. So I would say maybe this is about two inches, which is what's recommended, two inches thick um, as far as the pea gravel. Maybe it's not so bad, it's just me. I didn't know what to expect because honestly, I don't think I've ever been on a pea gravel patio before. So, um, everything's looking pretty good. Okay guys, I hope this was helpful for you. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can see new videos coming your way. So no matter if it's night or day, it seems like no one else is falling anymore on my patio. Thanks again for watching. And remember, planting life matters.